Northwest. All right, we back in the G ride after that awesome, awesome Granite Falls, Fishway Falls, Fishery. I don't know, it's got a few names anyway. It was awesome, but now we're gonna head down some country roads right here and check out a little something else I think will be cool too. Anyway, let's get on down the road, y'all. Let's do this. All right, Google's telling me it's gonna go, it's gonna take two hours to go. 55 miles and that just means that it's gonna be a windy twisty absolutely gorgeous mountain road and I'm looking forward to it I'll share as much as I can guys but I'm gonna enjoy this and of course I just noticed the name mountain loop highway so yeah I mean come on come on we are definitely expecting some uh, hairpin corners some up and down some absolutely gorgeous scenic roadways yeah I'm digging it I'm digging let's do this guys after a few twists and turns uh, getting a little lost I'm not even sure if this is the right place but I don't know I think it'll do yeah absolutely gorgeous I have no idea what this area is called I have no idea what river this is I'm off on the side of some country road I don't even care this is this is gorgeous absolutely beautiful out here but uh yeah I don't know I think you guys deserve some drone footage here what do you think let's do that
All right, you guys, of course you can't tell, but yeah, rocking and rolling up this super steep hill. Could not think of a better time to have a four-wheel drive rental car. <laughs> you got the river right over here. You guys can't really see it, but oh my God, the views, just beautiful. Talking to a guy down there on his motorcycle, he's like, yeah, come all the way up this road. It's, it's pretty beautiful. You're gonna enjoy it. All right, here we go, guys. If I see something cool, I will definitely get it on video for you. All right, guys, we're at the Spada Lake Reservoir. Not super exciting right now, but when the water level is high, this structure right here actually acts like a big whirlpool and sucks in the water. They use it for power production, irrigation, all kinds of stuff like that. There's actually a, kind of a cool picture of it up the road. Maybe I'll cut that in of how it works. But yeah, the water level's got to come up about 20 or 30 feet, which I'm sure is not hard when they have the spring and summer melt-offs from the mountains. You know, it's, it's uh, coming in the winter now, so I think they've used up all the water. All right. This wasn't, this wasn't what I intended uh, to find down here, but whatever, <laughs> I take it, man. I love all this, just random, like, all right, let's, uh, let's see what's out here. I love doing this stuff, man. Just like, just drive around and see what you can find. This is absolutely a gorgeous area, but I think we can walk out here on the dam and uh, we'll get a better view. Yeah, nothing to see here, a little roadway, not that exciting. Yep, nothing cool here at all. Oh, wait, <laughs> just this gigantic reservoir, beautiful. This is like a major water source for this entire county. No surprise, very beautiful, super cool. Pretty cool, got a helicopter flying through the reservoir here. Here he comes. Nice day for flying. It is gorgeous out here. Cruising out of this reservoir area. I would love to get some drone footage, but there are no drone signs everywhere. It's just okay. Again, I get it. If they didn't have those signs, everybody and their mother would probably be out here flying a drone. So it's all good. It's all good. Let's check out this next spot. And then I gotta go get some lunch. I'm starving. It's already like 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I haven't had anything to eat yet. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, we're just on the opposite side of that reservoir we were just on. Just taking a little quick walk down here to the lake. Take a look. Beautiful. <laughs> it's a solid nature day. Solid nature day. Just love it. So beautiful here. And the smells and the sounds and how the light's acting and just, ah, it's so awesome today. Love it. Cool little spot. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, now when the reservoir is high, I would technically be underwater right now, but a little low right now. But yeah, I'm sure, uh, I'm sure next year it'll be right back up to its normal size. Pretty cool. Kind of looks like a barren wasteland a little bit down here on this side, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, good. Still cool looking. All right, y'all. The adventure continues. Let's keep it moving. I don't know, y'all. Are these colors coming out? I hope they are. I hope these colors are popping. It looks so freaking beautiful up here. Trying my first shot at curbside delivery 
at the Cheesecake Factory. Why not? Why not? Right? Pretty slick. I dig it. So I guess uh, they just sent me a text. So they send you a text on your phone and then you respond with your spot number and then they bring out your food. We'll see how well that works, but pretty cool. I'm sure this was super popular with all the lockdowns. So right now it's just kind of kind of a convenience, whatever, for places that either don't deliver or you just rather go and pick it up rather than having it delivered. So anyway, I know you guys in the States are like, yeah, we know casino, like we've been using it for a million times. For me, it's cool, man. I never did it before. James? Yes, me. All right, too bad. Thank Have you. All right, that was slick. I'm out of here. Let's go eat all this delicious food.